guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at set matrix zeros problem which is from lead code number 73 let's now read the problem statement in this problem given a m by n integer matrix matrix if an element is zero set its entire row and column to zeros and we must do it in place now if you look at uh, this particular example in this case you have one zero which is at row number one column number one so we need to fill all the elements in row number one and column number one to zeros you can see that all these items have been converted to zero and the rest of the items are remaining as it is okay so this was first example if you look at the second example again in this case the first column and the first row will become zero and the first uh, row and this last column will also become zero right so that is how we have marked the cells with zero and these are all the non-zero marked cells so i think this is very straightforward to understand now if we look at the constraint then the m and n value are very less which is only 200 so if you write an mn algorithm that is going to be 200 times 200 right so that will be 4 times of 10 to the power of 4 well within our 10 to the power 8 limit and definitely you can also go for higher uh, complexity as well but in this case there are multiple follow-up questions the first follow-up question is a straightforward solution using uh, mn space is probably a bad idea and uh, this solution actually says that you create another matrix like if i can show you above uh, so if you look at the first example if we can create another matrix okay with the same rows and columns and that will be completely empty then you can uh, see where the zeros are present so if the zero is present in this first row then you fill up the values like zero 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 and uh, it is also present in the first column so fill it up with zero zero and then you iterate and fill up the rest of the values as it is present in the original array or the original matrix so if you do that then we are not doing it in place right the question was asking about in place so that is what this first uh, point is saying the second point here says that a simple improvement uses order of m plus n space complexity but still it is not the best solution so if i can show you what it is saying it is saying about given a matrix we can remember the rows and column po positions like let's say we can iterate this entire matrix row wise okay so we go from left to right each row one row after another and then we move top down so in such case we can mark like we can remember at what row and at what columns we do we see a zero so we have seen a zero at zero comma one and we have seen a zero at one comma one so we can remember all the rows the rows are zero comma one and the columns are exactly one okay these both columns are same and then later on we can actually iterate for this row number zero one and mark all these values as zero okay and we can iterate for this column number one and mark this column as all zeros so if you do that then how many rows and columns do you have this is an m by n matrix right m n matrix so the number of rows are m and the number of columns are n so the total space complexity just to save that means to remember which row and which columns do we actually need to convert to zeros will require order of m plus n space right and that is what this technique is saying so this works okay but uh, this is not the best solution now the entire problem follow-up is asking about could you devise a constant space solution so that is going to be a little tricky and that is what we will be trying to see okay in the initial part only it was saying about you must do it in place now let's look at the idea of doing it in place all right so the idea can be about marking the rows and columns so that you don't have to remember which rows have zero and which columns have zero separately but you can use the provided matrix and you can mark the rows and columns how do you do that now let's see how to uh, mark the entire matrix rows and columns in place right so let's consider a given example three by three matrix and in this case what we can do is we can start marking the zeroth row and the zeroth column so this is the zeroth row moving from left to right and how to mark the zeroth row and zeroth column you can simply iterate over the entire matrix and whenever you see a zero you mark the item that means whenever you see a zero at coordinate r comma c then you can mark at matrix 
row that means row number and the column number zero you will be setting a zero value and at matrix at uh, zero with row and at column number c you will be following uh, i mean marking a zero value so in this case when you see a zero at coordinate zero comma one you will be marking this one as zero and this coordinate zero one as zero which is already a zero right and you iterate row wise so once you are done go to the second row and when you see a zero you mark this as zero and you mark zero comma one as zero which is already a zero right so you iterate and uh, you just have two zeros so two extra markings will be done at zero zero and one zero right whenever you see a zero it will be marking it will be marking the zeroth column and it will be marking the zeroth row both with the zero value that is what we are doing so this zero will be marking this as zero and this one as zero right once this marking process is done in the second iteration we can simply iterate over the entire matrix and wherever we see a zero we can mark the entire row and the column as zero okay and we we don't need to iterate for all the uh, cells but we just need to iterate for the zeroth column and the zeroth row okay so we will just be checking the zeroth row if we see a zero we will mark the entire column as zero when we see a zero here we will mark the entire column as zero and that's it and then after that we will be moving to all the items in zeroth column and when we see a zero we will mark the entire row as zero when we see a zero we will mark the entire row as zero right when we see a zero we will mark the entire row as zero so this is now converting it into a zero matrix where all the items are zero okay which is a wrong answer absolutely it is a wrong answer and why is this happening this is happening because we have actually marked in not a correct order okay so what we are doing is uh, whenever we are marking like let's say here we just had two zeros one zero was at zero one and another zero was at one one there were only two zeros so technically it should be just marking this column number one row number zero and row number one that's it okay so two items should have been saved this eight eight comma five should have been saved but what we did was while marking we actually marked the zeroth column as well as the zeroth row so it is marking changing the value at one zero with zero also changing the value at zero zero with zero so this is giving us an idea while uh, doing second step which is the second iteration that these values are zero itself it was originally zero but it was not originally zero right so we have to come up with a technique where we can avoid this kind of problem okay we need to differentiate between the marked zeros that we ourselves have ma marked and the original zeros right if we cannot differentiate between them then uh, the conversion will be a little bit trickier isn't it so in order to avoid that first of all i will be finding if the zeroth row and zeroth column originally is it having any zero or not having any zero this is done to avoid this situation which we fell into right because i don't know if the zeroth column has zeros means it originally had zero or not so i can use two boolean variable zeroth column does it have any zero and the zeroth row does it have any zero or what so these are two boolean variables if you can just iterate through the zeroth column you will see that zeroth column do not have any zero so i can set this value to false and if you can just iterate zeroth row you will find that yes you have, you have a zero you can set it this to true that means zeroth row has a zero and after doing that we now know that even if you see a zero you will not be fooled because if the zero column is saying false this means this zero was set later okay that is how we will be trying to identify between marked zeros and original zeros in the zeroth column and zeroth row okay that is taken care but after that we will be marking the zeroth row and zeroth column by iterating from 1 1 to m m minus 1 n minus 1 that means in this entire matrix i will just be iterating into these cells i will never iterate zeroth column and zeroth row because those two rows and columns have been actually taken care by the two variables zero column and zero row if the zeroth column do not have a zero it will be false and if the zeroth row do not have a zero then it will be false in this case it is true so i have already checked that out so i don't need to check it again so i will be iterating from 1 1 to m minus 1 n minus 1 and see that if you have a zero then you mark 
its respective column and its respective row with a zero value so this is already a zero so this needs to be converted to zero okay and there are no other zeros in this uh, cell from 1 1 to 2 2 so we are fine now the third thing we have to do is iterate on the 0th row and mark the respective columns mark the respective columns that means iterate for all the items in row number 0 and see wherever you have 0 mark their respective columns where do you have the 0 so in this case you have a 0 at this one position only and so mark its respective column and this will be marked to 0 okay we are done with this step next step is iterate on the 0th column and mark the respective rows so iterate on the 0th column okay so wherever you see a 0 you see a 0 for this row number 1 mark its respective uh, row okay so in this case you will be marking this as 0 and this will become 0 as well and you don't have any any more 0 right now after doing this we have processed everything for this cell from 1 1 to m minus 1 n minus 1 now we can take care of the uh, marking of the 0th row and 0th column at the end. Okay, at the end. So at this point, do you have any 0 in the 0th column? No. So I will not do anything for to the 0th column. Do you have any 0 to the 0th row? Yes. So I will be doing this change to the 0th row and this will become 0. This will also become 0. So the output you get is 0, 0, 0 for the first row. 0, 0, 0 for the second row and 8, 0, 5 for the third row which is a correct answer it is the correct answer okay now if you are thinking about uh, why did we do this last step only at the end like marking the 0th row and 0th column but not anywhere in the middle above this point because let's say that if you have uh, marked the entire row as 0 here right initially only you had marked all the row values as 0 then in this step when you are trying to iterate over the 0th row then you will feel like all the columns have zero and that is why you will be marking all these values in the entire cell with zero values so the entire matrix will become a zero matrix and that was our problem right so i had to save this result of whether the zeroth row and the zeroth column actually originally have a zero or not right in the beginning before doing any kind of alteration and these changes have to be implemented only at the end so that this iteration steps when you are checking 0th row 0th column and marking the respective columns and rows do not affect uh, the final answer in an unintended way okay so when you do the dry run you will definitely understand what i'm trying to say so if you follow this entire approach then definitely your time complexity is going to be mn and space complexity is going to be order of one okay so we are only iterating over the entire matrix yes more than one times but still you can take mn so i hope this is clear let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given uh, the matrix and i am finding the rows and columns uh, we need to find if the original matrix has any zero in the zeroth row and any zero in the zeroth column so that was step number one now after doing that you know that in the entire matrix i have to uh, traverse from one comma one to m minus one comma n minus one that means leaving out the zeroth row and zeroth column we need to cover the rest of the cells and whenever you find a zero mark its uh, 0th column and the zeroth row value with zero okay so that is what being done here then after doing this our step was to iterate over the 0th row so we will be iterating over the 0th row and if we find the zero values we will be marking the entire column with zeros okay and the same thing will be repeated for the columns as well so i will be going to the 0th column and if i find that there are zero values in the column then the entire row will be set to zero fine so these were the steps and after doing all the steps we need to check we need to check if the uh, if the zero row is actually having at least one zero then all the values in the zeroth row will become zero and if the zero column actually have originally 
ओके इफ इट हैड एट लीस्ट वन जीरो देन द इंटायर कॉलम वैल्यूज विल बिकम जीरो सो दिस इज द इंटायर अप्रोच एंड आई होप इट इज क्लियर इफ यू स्टिल हैव एनी डाउट देन फील फ्री टू कमेंट बिलो एंड आई ट्राई टू हेल्प यू एज सुन एज पॉसिबल सी यू गाइज इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू